From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening here on Evenings LA, and I'm back with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In this recording, we'll go over that monthly stimulus check that the Democrats do want you to have, and why you may actually get more months of checks in this four stimulus package. Wow, this is incredible great news. Then we cut to the four stimulus recon, and why that recon may actually have other monies in there as well for you. Exciting breaking details as well on this evening's LA broadcast. Then we go over all the questions you've been asking and all the questions are answered. What happened to July 4th? How's the voting? When are they voting? Where's the bill? What's the bill? How about the recon versus the bipartisan? Which one goes first? Which one goes second? I have all the incredible details. Then we turn to Fizz Stimulus, which is the lifeline that my viewers from benefits like SSI to VA have been waiting for. A lot more than SS200. We'll go over all those big details happening in Fifth Stimulus. Then the big money that viewers continue to get, like Nisi getting $23,000. It's a big evening. I'm excited to be back. Let's get to the breaking news. It's a lot of exciting stuff, and it's starting right here, right now, on Evenings Light. over the hump how are you do doing how is your week going how's the weather it's been hot here uh i was around la county today and it was hot very very hot um i'm back now by the beach in santa monica and it's cooler but not cool enough <laughs> <laughs> Jump in the live chat, tell me where you're tuning in from, and how's the weather. In this fourth stimulus check update of 2021, we go over first that stimulus check that the Democrats want you to have. We'll go over how many months and why there may be more months of checks. Then we turn to the breaking news as the two-path process is heating up, but why the fourth stimulus recon may also have other stimulus checks in there for you of other natures. Very exciting details. Then we cut to the big details about everything you've been wondering. The 4th, July 4th, the vote, the bill, the drafting, what's going on this week, what's going on next week, the questions I've got, and some questions confusing, like July 15th, what's July 15th? I didn't know what that was, so I'll be answering that question as well. And then we turn it to the exciting details of Fifth Stimulus, where the raising up of your benefits lifetime for SSI and SSDI, VA have been waiting for a generation, it's coming, and it's very exciting. Then we turn to the big money that viewers get, like Needy C got $23,000, John got $12,000, yes, last Last night, someone got $13,000. This is LLA, America's only seven days a week financial news channel in America, 24 hours a day across the board. With this channel, I am alive in the morning, taped in the afternoons, and right after the show is Overnight's Crypto, followed by, of course, Evening's Crypto. And then Sir Lloyd is back with his move on over at 8 o'clock tonight as well. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record, fastest growing channel. There is 400,000 subscribers in one year. I want you to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for your astronomical support this week. It has absolutely been wonderful. Also, like this video. Every like that helps, every like that you deliver helps ensure that Mix's tip mixtape gets nowhere. <clears throat> and consider becoming a member. Uh, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP, let's get into that monthly stimulus check starting right now. The fourth stimulus check got a very series of interesting twists based upon really stuff that we did not see coming. And those twists started with the understanding that they may say the pandemic is over, but it may not be over. Let's go over the calculations. How's the bill? Jollapal, thousand uh, for a stimulus check monthly for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. Senate proposal, a stimulus check from July to December. Let's go out the pay go over the payouts. House, one thousand dollars after the first month, two thousand. Senate monthly unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Oh my goodness. Now that's deliciousness. $2,000 over six months, twelve thousand dollars a person, or fourteen hundred dollars over six months, eighty four hundred dollars a person. Well, there's this thing that's getting really fascinating. Pandemic less one year. A week ago, we were all saying the pandemic may be considered over for legislative purposes, which would mean you would just get 12 months of checks under the House bill from Jalapal, which would be $13,000. But now, 
there is growing consensus that the pandemic is not over because of Delta, which would mean you would get more than 12 months, and that would be more than $13,000. Compare that to this. <laughs> I think you have an opinion. Jump in the live chat right now and vote House of Senate. House of Senate, tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. Boy, vote House of Senate because I think you may have a different opinion than you did a week ago. I know I do. S things are moving very fast and changing by the hour. By the way, Stimulus Chucks was the number one story on a broadcast news uh, site today. It it's a very big issue. <laughs> You're the only one that talks about it. No, <laughs> the entire American people is talking about it. Take the cotton out of your ears. <laughs> Sorry, did I just say that out loud? Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Who gets the fourth stimulus check? Democrats represent you would get the fourth stimulus check if you're a single individual, 75000 or less. Democrats say they want to give a fourth stimulus check to everyone who got a third stimulus check. Married couple, 150000 or less. Democrats want to give you a fourth stimulus check. Double it. Family of four. Democrats want you to have a forced stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, Democrats want you to have a forced stimulus check. The forced stimulus check is not income, so it's not taxable. Don't worry about that one. Forced stimulus check would be the same amount for everyone, including adult dependents. And the forced stimulus check would not come in waves. Uh, it's a monthly check. It's not waivable. So if you do see the check at the beach today with a pig walking by, <laughs> check my Instagram account, and you wave at the check with the pig, say, hey, check, what's going on? Is that L.A.'s bacon? <laughs> <laughs> Checked in way back. No to the pig. Rude pig. Bacon. <laughs> it's not a rude check. It's not a rude bacon. Uh, it might be my bacon, but it's not rude. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a pig. I can't wave back. Uh, it just has, you know, those, those, what are those things they, they call them? Uh, so there you go. Bacon. Uh, <laughs> for so much check, we come in the month of July. For the month of July, the Democrats represent maybe with a slice of bacon, if I'm, hope, if I'm hopeful, uh, in the month of August, for the month of August. And the Democrats can still get you a four stimulus check in July. We'll go over more about what you need to know in the second part of this video. It is the two-path process and why Fort Stimulus will be giving you a lot of other money under the Fort Stimulus Recon. This is really exciting news. In the third part of this video, we'll go over, over everything you need to know and everything you've been asking about. July 4th, July 15th, the route, the, uh, the voting process, the two bills, the three bills, what's going on, how's the drafting, everything you need to know is answered in that big finale. So stay to the very ten, last minute, 10 minutes of this video. It's the big finale you've been wanting. But first, here's a preview of the second half of this video. It's fifth stimulus. And fifth stimulus is incredible because it raises up your benefits if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Railroad benefits, and veterans benefits. My beneficiaries have been with me since day one, and you have fought for this money. This is the SS200, but more. And I am just so excited to detail all this for you and stay on top of the story. It's coming up late in this video. But let's get some money. Let's get some money. We're halfway through the week and it's time to get some money. If you're new to this channel, this is what we do. Jump in the live chat right now. Jump in there right now and say what monies you got. Last night was insane. Last night on this show was insane. $13,000 for red. You're killing it. I'm so excited for you. The viewers are getting fortunes from this channel. And this is becoming just like December 2020. We're in December 2020. We we're waiting for second stimulus to pass. It was not passing. It was the holidays. You need money. I stepped forward and I got viewers a quarter million dollars of money. Rent, utilities, viewers like Tyrone, family of four out of Boston. Got them $15,000. Well, you and I are doing it again. You're just killing it. Nisi getting $23,000, $20,000 for rent, plus utilities, plus internet, plus more. Art getting rent, utilities, and SNAP. John getting uh, $12,000 for SNAP. Last night, we had viewers getting $13,000 over and over and over in the comments. It was like a common number. Yeah, it's not unlucky. It's a great number, $13,000. If you got any money from this channel, post in the comments right now. Why? Number one, it inspires other people to get the money. It shows them that anyone can get this money. Number two, it also updates us about the numbers. I was wrong about the numbers. They're much higher than I thought. I always say that rent is about $5,000. I always, I was wrong. It's about 10 to 12. I said that the utility is a couple hundred. I was wrong. It's a couple thousand. Viewers are getting $3,000. I said that the SNAP is, you know, $16,000 for a family four in Hawaii, but viewers are getting $12,000 routinely for SNAP. So let's go over the incredible details. Get a pen and paper ready. And if it must be Crayola Crown, understand there is nothing muddled about this. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to go over the big money available for you. You're going to reach out to different places. Each place has different eligibility. We're looking for rent, which is about five to about $5,000, about four to six months of rent. We're looking for utilities, uh, internet, 
and also mortgage assistance and homeowners utilities. It's a lot of money. Let's go over all the details. Each place is different eligibility. If one says no, reach out to the next. Are you ready? Here we go. You reach out to your city hall, your city house authority. Your county hall, your county housing authority. Your state hall, your state housing authority. Keywords are going to say a rent assistance because of COVID or mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Uh, you don't say words they don't know, like stimulus or Mitch's um, inspiration from Beyonce. Mm -hmm. No, um, Mitch just, Mitch's... Um, Singing career isn't on a different level. <laughs> it's on no level. It's just, you know, below level. It just, it, it, what level is it? I don't know. It's just, yeah, that mixtape. I just don't know what that mix, Mitch's mixtape will be. Uh, if you think what you know what Mitch's mixtape uh, track list is, jump in the comments. Uh, I know Scott Watson has some ones for this one. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, congratulations to Tim and Linda who got this wonderful money. The next bottle of money is Snap, and the Snap is a fortune. It's a fortune. Families are getting a lot of money from this channel. Yes, John got $12,000, but viewers are getting five to $7,000 day in day out. I want you to get it. The eligibility for SNAP is the same about as, as, as uh, a stimulus check. What is SNAP? Well, it's money for food. How do you get it? From Department of Agriculture. Go get it. If you got SNAP, jump in the live chat right now. Post the annual number so we see the annual number. So if it's like $500 a month, post the 6000 so we see it. I'm just so excited for you. Congratulations. So reach out to Department of Agriculture and get it. How much does it pay? A family of four in Hawaii gets upwards of $16,000 a year. Wow. Why so much money? Because of two executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raise your benefits up 15% nationally for everyone between now and December. You're killing it, I'm killing it. We're only 11 minutes in this video, but let's get to the next pot of the money. It's wonderful. It's the money coming back from your states. The states have been ordered to return money back to you due to overpayment of unemployment benefits due to computer error. And we had someone last night in the live chat who got it. I was really excited for that viewer. I'm trying to remember the number. It was somewhere between two to $5,000. It was a lot of money. Um, we had another viewer before who got $5,000 for it. If you got this as well, jump in the live chat. I haven't heard a lot of viewers, but I'm very excited to see that one last night. What is this? This is the refund check due to overpayment uh, of computer, due to computer error. The federal government identified states as overpaying you unemployment due to computer error and then taking the ba money back from you. Uh, the federal government said, no, it was the money for them to keep the citizens. So one viewer got $5,000 for this. It's landing on the direct deposit of the account you have on file. Can you track it? Yeah, um, call up the state and say, hey state, where is that check due to overpayment due to computer error? And can you track it with a computer that actually works this time? <laughs> and finally, the wonderful money back from IRS. If you got this as well, jump in the live chat. Margaret got it, Cod got it, Michael got it. Let's go over how much. Let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment benefits. You paid $5,000 of taxes to IRS, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations, you're getting back $4,000. Where? Direct deposit otherwise in the mail. When? This month. Can you track it? Yeah, about 70% of the time you can. Go into irs.gov and do a transcript search, and it'll reveal stuff you never knew. Um, it'll reveal stuff you don't really want to know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It'll reveal the taxes you're in your file, the taxes you pay. It'll reveal, um, really, uh, what is the date for Mitch's drop, mix, uh, mixtape drop date? <laughs> It'll reveal, is mix, Mitch's mixtape going to drop like a brick? <laughs> or drop um, sort of like, uh, you know, like a rubber band. <laughs> then finally, it's going to reveal the refund check you're getting back from IRS. Can we top that? Yes, we can as we go into the second part of your big four stimulus check update of 2021. There's two paths at issue now, a recon and a bipartisan. That was not the case two Wednesdays ago today. Over two Wednesdays ago today, Nate Leader Schumer said the vote for the recon, the final vote, would be by July 4th. At that time, the total recon was all there was, just a recon, short for reconciliation, for the recon, that has your stimulus checks in there, the Democrats represent. But Schumer, Pelosi, the president, were pulling the Democratic caucus along with Jalapal and realized over two weeks ago that if they called a vote on the complete recon, which at that time, had roads and bridges in there, it would not pass. They had to shrink the recon by taking roads and bridges out. And that's what they did two Wednesdays ago today. It was what I called the split or the split day when they took roads and bridges out of the recon and put it in something different. That something different is called the bipartisan. That split day put roads and bridges in the bipartisan, taking it out of the recon, which still reportedly, according to Democrats, still has your stimulus checks in there and a lot of other checks which I'm getting to. That split day created two paths, recon and bipartisan. 
Now, why was that split day so critical and so beneficial to you? Number one, it was beneficial because the recon was not passable until the day in which they split it from the re from the roads and bridges. It, when it had roads and bridges, it would not pass. Democrats and GOP confirmed that. In fact, an op-ed from a very good conservative publication late last week confirmed that in a uh, beautifully written op-ed by someone. The individual wrote the following. The higher the price tag was on the recon before the split, the harder it was to pass. But by allowing the Democrats to take out some of the spending and put it into the bipartisan roads and bridges on that split day, the overall number price tag for the recon bill got smaller, obviously. In other words, the bipartisan deal made the recon passable. Sorry, Mitch, I set you up. <laughs> I just, you know, that's what happened. The, de the GOP had nothing to gain by blessing the bipartisan because it now allowed an ungodly amount for the recon to be able to be passable. You had this very big recon before the split day that had roads and bridges in there. And when they took the roads and bridges out, the recon shrunk. Now the recon is passable because roads and bridges are out. Now, what became the second benefit to this? The second benefit to this is that when they shrunk the recon, they could now add a little bit more in, not a lot, just a little bit like that. And who is that? The progressives. Now, here's what you need to remember. Recon is written by Democrats, for Democrats, for Democrats to pass. There's no GOP writing a recon. They don't want the recon. And the... Only things in the recon are progressive policy checks for you. There's nothing but checks for you. All different types of checks. More about that in a second. The president has checks in there for children and for adults and for medicine. Jalapal represents she has checks in there for your stimulus checks for everyone. The president also has checks in there for climate and electric vehicles. But what, now that the bipartisan was established, taking roads and bridges out of the recon, making it smaller, what was the next benefit to that? The progressives could then add more money in there for you. And we have that confirmation for the progressives actually speaking out. The Progressive Caucus has met with the president daily to ensure that the, that the recon has as much as they want in there. And then Representative Elon Omar, Democrat of Minnesota, says, we have a commitment that regardless of what happens to the bipartisan, that the recon will go as far as we want the recon to go. Wow, that's huge. Now, what are these other provisions? They don't tell us. And I've seen some wonderful comments from viewers. I love it. And this is where you got to push Purple Power. Could there be an extension of FPUC in there? There could. Could there be an extension of PEUC? There could. Could there be an extension uh, or bringing back the EI deal grant or the EI deal loan? They, it could. You never know. Um, but housing? Apparently, there is housing in there. What type of housing? No one knows. This is sort of a shocker, and this is what progressives are doing. Them, Representative Richie Toys says that I refuse to bill for a bill that fails to be linked to a larger recon, and he's putting housing in there. Now, what's important to understand is that when Democrats are writing recon, they don't give you progress report. This is not like they appear on Ellen and say, here's the 20 pages I've written. Here you go, America. There's no transparency rule in the Constitution. They show you what they've written, how they voted, what they're doing, or what they're putting in. They can put something in and take it out at any particular second. So you need to continually push. But this is getting very exciting. Now, how can they get away with this? Because they're protecting the recon. It's their instrument. And we got that statement of protection about two weeks ago from Jalapal and Brian Schatz, who are both progressive Democrats. Schatz said that the White House had considered, had told him that the White House considers the progressive priorities in the recon the White House's priorities. And Jalapal said that the White House told her to continue to protect the recon, obviously. Now, why are they saying that? Because everything that's in the recon is checks for you, checks for the American people, progressive policies. There's nothing left but checks for Americans. The magnitude of those checks, we don't know. Is there unemployment checks in there? We don't know. But they are absolutely piling it in. And we got that tip off weeks earlier when Jalapal wrote the letter to Schumer saying, call the vote shot. The letter was signed by 12 House Democrats from among the 100 plus House Democrats who had written the president letter saying, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package. Yeah, you heard me right. 100 plus House Democrats, not just one. Can we top that? We can. As seven House Democrats on the House Ways and Means Committee wrote the president letter said, saying, when we write for stimulus recon, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks in this. Now, why is this so huge? This is why it's so huge. 
the recon is written by Democrats for Democrats, but who actually gets the pen and paper out and starts writing it? Well, it's dedicated to different subcommittees to start their individual subject. Stimulus checks is a House Ways and Means only provision. Um, they cover stimulus checks. They also cover everything about unemployment. But these are the people who are on the House Ways and Means Committee who wrote the letters to the president saying we're going to put monthly stimulus checks in there. That's what they represent. That is huge. You want to keep them to that promise, people. Hashtag Purple Power. Hashtag MSE. Why is this huge? Because they wrote third stimulus recon checks. They're writing the fourth stimulus recon, and they claim they're writing a fifth stimulus recon with another stimulus check in there as well. What's also very big is that they have the authority to put other things in there as well. And they're working all this week. They issued a statement last week that they're working all this week on finishing this recon. Wow, can we top that? We can. As the president went overseas uh, three weeks ago, but yesterday it became official. Yesterday it became official that the international corporate tax rate has now been signed into law by those countries, with the exception of Ireland, which is a holdout. It could still change. What's going on? Four Stimulus Recon is anchored to the edge of the finish line now because a provision about international corporate taxes is not needed into the inter in the Four Stimulus Recon, making it easier to write the recon and make it easier to pass. The president's paying for Four Stimulus Recon by raising corporate tax rates. Now, that corporate tax rate caused concerns for the president said, well, maybe business may move overseas to find a lower corporate tax rate. There's no longer that concern because the president reached out to this country and said, get the rate up. And while he, the president went three weeks, three weeks ago, went overseas and got them to sign on the dotted line in person, it was not made official until yesterday. That's the wonderful, great news. There's a new article out today, which I do want to address, about corporate taxes. It talks about the president's rate. The article shows the bad level of news reporting out there, saying the president's at 28%. The president five weeks ago said he's coming down to 25%, not at 28%. So it shows you the bad level reporting. It says the president doesn't have support at 28%. He's not at 28%. He said he, came, he would come down to 25 He specifically said 25 or 26 several times. So um, really great news. By getting this international agreement, it anchors four stimulus to the edge of the finish line because now you don't need the provision about international corporate taxes in the four stimulus recon. It's easier to write it. It's easier to vote on it. And it's easier to pass it. Can we top that? We can. As we go into the really the most most important part of this four stimulus check update of 2021 it's the final part all your questions are asked all your questions are answered july 4th the two bills the vote the date everything you've been wanting and to know the answer to is explained in detail it's all breaking news it's all new if you don't stay to it you don't know <laughs> and it's coming up in just a second it's also with the exciting details of this stimulus for my beneficiaries oh my god i'm so excited for you but first something even more wonderful the volunteers if you need help with rent utilities mortgage or internet and you haven't gotten it please get it if you see all those people in the live chat, and if you haven't posted yet, continue to post the money that they got for rent, utilities, internet, snap, and you haven't gotten a penny, and you've tried, then reach out to the volunteers, because that's what we have on this channel. A series of people who can help you get that money, and they're absolutely salt of the earth. They're viewers helping viewers get that money. The volunteers are located in the description of this video where it has a emoji of a house. It's not Nancy's house. <laughs> Next to it says a community page. Click the link. It'll send you to the volunteers page at the community page, news.la.com forward slash community. The volunteers are separated from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Reach out to them and help you get that big money. And I will be back with you in about 60 seconds with the exciting details about Four Stimulus you've been wanting to know on this big Evenings Ally broadcast. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. They're Facebook, Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m.
Home LL8 returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LL8 at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. And the excitement continues right now on Evenings LA with exciting details coming up about your fourth stimulus check of 2021 and your fifth stimulus raising up of your benefits. I am so excited for you. So subscribe, a 400,000 subscribers is a YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss a single video across the board. New shows today, we're at Afternoons LA, Early Mornings LA, and this show, Evenings LA. And coming up next is Overnight's Crypto. Stay on this video, I'll automatically take you into Overnight's Crypto. It's gonna be a great show tonight. And then we go into Evenings Crypto at seven o'clock, followed by Sirloin at eight o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So subscribe. Also, like this video, every like helps. It also delivers a side of your play. <laughs> Consider becoming a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Power, or Casino VIP. Boy, this stimulus is so wonderful for my beneficiaries. You have been salt of the earth. You have really held on. And your promise, this SSI reform by the president when he campaigned, your promise when he was in the transition to president, and it didn't come to fruition with SS200, but now it's coming to fruition in fifth stimulus. They'll raise your benefits up, they'll apply a new inflationary benchmark, remove the asset limit, and then remove the income exclusion and remove the marriage penalty. This is the exciting details of why, why fifth stimulus reform for my beneficiaries is so critical. First, what else is in fifth stimulus? Well, they're going to be another stimulus check. The Democrats of that House Ways and Means Committee represent they're going to give you another fifth stimulus check. This would be for next year. It would not overlap with fourth stimulus. There's always someone says, does that overlap? No, they, they, they're right in the fourth, they're right in the fifth. They know how not to overlap stuff. Number two, the president has dedicated $1 billion to Social Security Administration to ensure your money runs on time. This is Fourth stimulus. This is fifth stimulus and your monthly benefits. Number three, if you're missing a first, second, or third stimulus check, you need to do two things. One, you need to file a tax return. And second, you need to request it on the tax return. That's regarding the stimulus check. This is something new, which I haven't said on Evenings LA in a while. Uh, if you're wondering about the children's check from third stimulus, if you did not do it right when I told you in May, it's too late now, um, but I'm not going to really be covering children's check on this channel, <laughs> at least not now. Uh, but boy, let's go to the exciting details about how this reform works. First, they'll raise your benefits up a lifetime. Who is this? This is you. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits. Yes, my veterans and survivor benefits. You deserve this. I'm so excited for you. Then they'll apply a new benchmark. The new benchmark is inflation. Now, you understand a lot about how this has worked because I've detailed you extensively. There's a new benchmark. The benchmark is applied in December for next year's benefits. The new benchmark is inflation. And you understand that inflation's going up. And you learn from this channel over the last two weeks that Jay Powell, your head of the Federal Reserve, says the inflation rate is not only heading up, but is hitting the highest spot when they apply the benchmark in December. Oh boy, that's exciting news. So how high is the inflation rate? We don't know. We won't know when we get really closer, but there's a lot more economic data coming out tomorrow. Of course, the new jobs number come out, new jobless claims comes out tomorrow morning. So we'll be watching those details. And But most Wall Street analysts are looking at about a 4% inflation rate now, growing up to about a 10% inflation rate. If that's the case, this is how it would work. Your benefits would raise up one time. Then they'll apply a benchmark. Your benefits would step up 10% if that was the rate, not just next year, but lifetime. Once your benefits step up, they never step down. It's incredible great news. If the year after that, the inflation rate is 2%, then you'll be a plus 2, plus 10%. What else are they going to do? They're going to remove the asset cap, dating back to a 1960s law, 80s law, says you can't stay on um, benefits and also have more than $3,000 in hand. Now you'll be able to have some stimulus checks and some Crayola crowns in your hand. <clears throat> they're going to remove the income cap, dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work and stay on benefits. And finally, they're going to remove the marriage penalty. Love is going to win, and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest. You'll no longer fear the marriage penalty or suffer the marriage penalty. It would not be retroactive. And viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to get married. Wow. Now, if you're in the live chat and you've seen people post repeatedly 
I got this for snap, I got this for rent, I got this for utilities, and you haven't gotten anything. But you notice that they all have purple hawks next to their names. What's going on? They're members. The membership links at the top of the channel, the pinned comments. Members are delivered for me to you daily. A breakdown of all this big money on the third stimulus. These are the most informed viewers and the best successful viewers in getting this money. Because when you're told where the money is, then you know where to get it. Third stimulus day dedicated fortunes to you. As soon as it passed, I said, yeah, you got a $14 stimulus check, but you qualify for $14,000. And that's why this channel has been successful. I don't just track a $14 stimulus check. Who cares the $14 stimulus check is going out? You got it. Then what? There's $14,000 for you to get. That is where the harder work is, and that's why this channel has done what it's done. So consider becoming a member so you get delivered from me daily all the big money, most of it's application-based, under third stimulus to get this rent, utilities, and other monies across the board. Wow. And with that, we go into our big finale of your fourth stimulus check of update of 2021 starting right now. You've had some great questions. I'm going to answer them right now. Number one, whatever happened to that July 4th date? When sh let's go back. Chuck and Nancy said over a thousand times, a thousand times, the final vote on the recon would be by July 4th. Not on July 4th, but by July 4th. And the final vote, not the first vote. And they didn't get it done. So what happened? Because the recon was not passable, they couldn't get it done. They made those comments when the recon had the roads and bridges in there. Remember I said two Wednesdays ago they realized it's not passable. The Democrats, the conservatives, uh, everyone said it was not passable because the recon was too big. So while Chuck and Nancy made that representation, they couldn't get it passed. Why? Because they had pulled the Democrat caucus, and with roads and bridges in there, it would not pass. So you can't call the vote on something that's not passable. I mean, we're not just sort of going through the exercise of it. Remember, when you call a vote and it doesn't work, you're done. <laughs> There's no redo over. So they could not get that done, the recon, by that the that way. Now the next question I would certainly ask is, okay, you well you took out the roads and bridges two Wednesdays ago. That was before July fourth. Why not call the recon a vote? Then why not call the recon for a vote after you split it from the bipartisan? There was still time before July fourth. Why not call the vote? The reason why is that the Democrats, some Democrats, not all the Democrats, but just enough to cause a problem want the recon to be called for a vote slow, shortly around when the bipartisans call for a vote. This is what you need to know. I've detailed this enough, but I want to repeat it. The recon cannot be called for a vote after the bipartisan. It will die. GOP admits this, De uh, Republic and, uh, and Democrats admit it. You cannot call the recon for a vote after the bipartisan. Okay, so then you'll say, we'll just call first. Call the, bi call the recon for a vote first. You can call the recon for a vote first or call concurrently with the bipartisan. So why didn't they just do that? They split it two Wednesdays ago. Why not just call it for a vote after you split it? Here was the problem. Was the recon, uh, recon by their representation was ready, but by, by everyone's representation, the bipartisan wasn't ready. Okay, so then why not just call the recon for a vote before July 4th, and we'll get to the bipartisan, you know, in, in August or something, or, you know, November, <laughs> you know, next year, you know. When Mitch is gone, we can get to the, we can get to the bipartisan. Well, what, why, why hold up the recon vote for the bipartisan? Here's the problem, is that there's enough Democrats to say the recon has to be called for a vote shortly around the same time as the bipartisan. You know, maybe in a day or two, maybe in the same day, but either concurrently or, at, or before the bipartisan. Okay, so isn't the bipartisan ready? Light bulb. Yeah, the bipartisan is not ready. That's the problem. Whose fault? Um, his name is the President of the United States. It's his fault. I mean, I, 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 can't, I can't point the blame any more than anyone else. He had meetings with Shelley Moore Capito, who is the Republican negotiator for um, all of last month and a little bit of the month before. And whenever she met with him, she did not have a draft of a bill. She did not have a draft of anything. In fact, a lot of people are saying, where is her proposal in writing? We can barely understand what it is. Eventually, the negotiation fell apart. The President made a deal with the bipartisan group, which was a different group after that. And they split that those two items, those two Wednesdays ago. But at that time, they didn't have anything written either. So the bipartisan is not written. And because of the bipartisan is not written, it's holding up the recon vote until the bipartisan is written. That is what's going on, so you understand. Number two, 
I've done enough videos, but I've having, I'm having to bring back the subject because it's been about two months. For you to understand, there is this is a democracy. <laughs> I say that with a big smile. This is democracy. And you cannot pass something in a democracy with one, with one vote. This is not an oligarchy. And there's always someone say, well, just call the vote and send out the check. Or why does the president just write, you know, just sign something, send out checks? No, this is not Vladimir Putin and Russia. This is not an oligarchy or a dictatorship. It's a democracy. And under the U.S. Constitution, it, for something to become a law, you have to have it voted on by the House, voted on by the Senate, and then approved by the president. Okay, well, that's just three votes, right? No, you have three bills here. And three bills is not three votes. Um, and well, then is it nine votes? No, it's not nine votes either. There is a recon procedural, a recon substantive, and a, bi and a bipartisan to vote on. Okay, so how many votes are those? Now, I've made this videos before, but I haven't said in a while. These votes I'm going to go through are not each different days. So I make that very clear to you. I don't want you to sort of add, add things up and say, are those all different days? No, they're not all different days. But let me show you what you have to vote on. Let's do bipartisan procedural. It's we're going to start on the Senate side and go to the House side. That's the way this is going. It's not going House to Senate. And it does not start, there is no voterama in this per permutation because it starts on the Senate side. So it starts in the Senate subcommittee, then Senate floor, then House floor, then president. Four steps. You're going to have to repeat those four steps again for the substantive uh, recon. That's eight steps. And then guess what? You got to repeat it again for the bipartisan. That's 12 steps. So there's 12 steps to do. It's required by the Constitution. No way to cut it out. And for everyone that, for anyone that says something like they're just, they're just um, trying to create additional steps to drag this out. No, it's the Constitution. I like the Constitution. Uh, move to, move to, <laughs> Putin's uh, next door. I mean that that's dictators do things in, in, in stroke of events. This is a democracy. Can't do the can't do it any, any other way. Now they can do things quicker. Next, I saw a lot of comments maybe two weeks ago, and they started to reemerge yesterday. July fifteenth, we're getting the check. July fifteenth. I'm like, what's July fifteenth? I've never said July fifteenth as a day. I've never even mentioned the number fifteen. I don't like the number fifteen. It's sort of like thirteen. I don't know where this July fifteenth <laughs> number is coming from. And I sort of looked around. I'm like, it didn't come from me. It didn't come from this channel. So I looked around. July 15th, I guess, is one of the dates for the children's check from third stimulus. This is a fourth stimulus video. <laughs> this is not a third stimulus video. This is a fourth stimulus video. Uh, so I guess there's a chill. The children's check may be July 15th. I don't cover the children's check. I mean, it's, 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 it is what it is. So I think some people are hearing about the children's check from the last bill. We're on the new bill, folks. We're six months later on the next bill. Um, so there is nothing of a July 15th for forced stimulus. So mm -hmm. make sure you understand that. Um, next, it's important to understand that you have to push. You have to push. And um, they can still get this done in the month of July. Um, but you absolutely have to push. And the, and the subject matter of pushing is a little bit more it has a little bit more add-on to it now number one you have to push to get them to write this darn bipartisan trust me i'm not happy about it i'm not happy that the bipartisan has not been written i did this video a thousand times in 2020 l8 write the bill remember when they would not write bills and they would just take forever to write a bill and mitch would just two proposals it was a bill and i mean write the darn bill you're elected and paid a salary to write a bill i mean you're there to write a bill they're legislators they're not there to you know get coffee <laughs> they're there to write bills go write the bill and it shouldn't take you five months to write the bill i mean i could write the bill in a day but i'm not elected to congress <laughs> I'm here in Santa Monica. I don't intend to leave either. Oh, you know, at least not yet. <laughs> so uh, you, you have to push purple power. Tell them to get this bipartisan written. I mean, this is, yeah, come on. Number two, you have to push to ensure that these Democrats keep their promises. They did not keep their promise with the July 4th recon date, clearly. And sort of now we see why. But you have to make sure that they keep the stimulus check in there. They can take things in, out. They can take thing, put things in. They can put them in and they can take them out. Remember, it's important for anyone that, that sort of passes by, that doesn't want to watch now a 38-minute video and just wants to say, am I getting a check, yes or no, and when? First of all, this is a democracy. If you don't want to, if you're watching a video about how election, how how it's how senators and and house members are determining when and how they do things, and you just want to hear the the final answer, then check back with me when the check is in the mail, and when they don't know your address, and you haven't filed a tax return, and you and you and they don't know where you are, and you don't get the check. <clears throat> 
we're going to be all right back to 2020. That sort of narrative of just tell me what, yes or no, it, it shows that a person doesn't want to understand the subject matter. These subject matters are elaborate. And, and and yes, understanding how Congress gets something to law is, is a whole is a whole discussion. And that's why it's a 40 minute video. Um, but you have to push purple power. You have to push because you want to ensure that they get to the finish line. And with that, always stay positive. I'm next back with you with Overnight's Crypto, which is coming up right after this video. Stay on this video. It'll take you automatically there. Then we go into Evening's Crypto. Sirloin is back at 8 o'clock. You know, Sirloin is a humor video, and I really want to thank the viewers. There is some viewers who love Sirloin and some viewers who don't want to watch Sirloin. But for Sirloin, for some viewers, it changes everything for their day. I had a viewer who said his father is in stage 3 or stage 2 cancer. And that Sirloin was the only thing that brought a smile to his face day in, day out. He asked me last week to please bring him back for his father. And that's why I brought Sirloin back, if you never saw that video. That is why Sirloin brought back. And I wish I see that. It was either Chadwick or Chad. I wish he jumps in the live chat so I see him. That's why I brought back. Some people like to laugh. It helps them. If you don't like to laugh, good. I can do a misery videos. I can do, you know, fire and brimstone and, and sad crying videos if you want me to do that. And that's what you love. <laughs> but coming up next is Overnight Crypto. So subscribe, 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I won't be crying. And like this video, two, three thousand likes. Consider becoming a member so you get delivered all the deliciousness of a third stimulus. So you get that money. Please get that money. And reach out to the volunteers if you haven't gotten as well. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally.